Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking all about buffs and nerfs, as it is a major thing in Apex Legends, and we know we are getting a brand new perk system, but along with that, there's some upcoming heirlooms that seem to give us some idea about some upgrades that some characters will be seeing, along with some new lore being added into the game for them. We're going to cover all of that, we're also going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks, all you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, remember, the winner is announced in the video itself, it's never going to be in the comment section, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So the other day, some users took to Reddit and actually went over some upcoming buffs and nerfs that they think are going to happen to the game. One of them was actually for Ash, and the evidence about it was that there was a developer noted that Ash's performance in a recent Q&A, and each ability was noted to be cumbersome. The likely buffs that they put were adjustments to phase tear, slight improvements to tactical stats, and quality of life changes to the passive. However, when you go ahead and actually look at that dev talking, they were concerned about the development where she could be overpowered due to her tactical. They actually are looking to do some stuff to her in the future, but there is a huge concern Concern about how she could be very well overpowered going back to what used to be overly oppressive like Seer was. So I don't think this is actually coming anytime soon. This is probably far in the future. It doesn't even sound like the dev team themselves have figured out exactly what they want to do for her. However, there was something that they actually mentioned on the post, and I think this is going to happen very, very quickly, and that's crypto. They are right. There are a couple of good points here. The lore focus of next season received character attention to recent story developments, and the next map is situated in Suatomo, Crypto's former city of residence. And if there is one legend that is going to get a rework, it's going to be this dude. Yes, next season we are getting a brand new battle royale map that takes place in Suatomo, which is kind of an urban style city. And even on the image right here that Watson drew, it has poor crypto on it, signifying his relevance to the area. Now you might be thinking, well, it's just a lore based city thing. Doesn't mean a buff's gonna happen. Well, he is also going to be getting an updated heirloom recolor in the near future. We know that there were Octane Cryptos mentioned in the files. However, I do want to point out there were no textures. So these aren't gonna be the next ones coming in. We actually know Bloodhound is getting one with the Rag Army event. Crypto would most likely, though, be getting one with the new map release if it ties into his lore, especially with all the stuff going on in the background about him. There's some other ones that we know about, such as the fact that Gibraltar is going to be getting a rework at some point called Gibraltar version 1, which indicates that we might be going back to the bubble meta at some point, and of course the lifeline rework that isn't until season 22 or 23, where her passive is unchanged but her tactical still heals people in area of effect, however the drone can be attached to someone and it will follow them, and an ultimate shock bot 3000, which is a reverse horizon ult that pushes everyone away from them. I will say that since she's not releasing until season 22 23 i would expect a couple of those to change i also think that we saw octane mentioned for an heirloom recolor i could see him getting a bit of a rework he's relatively remained unchanged for a very long time now and he has been getting a lot of lore most recently with his dad passing away well not really being passed away he was killed by a murder bot and the recent time watch that he actually found which is from the titanfall universe but what becomes even more interesting is well how is respawn actually balancing these players because if you look at legends like seer who was once the top legend Legend in the entire meta, he is now less than a percent pick rate. You have Valkyrie, who in the ALGS Championship of 2022 had a 99% pick rate, which is just absurd. And then, of course, they sell an heirloom, and then right after, they give her ultimate ability to an evac tower survival item. It seems like the respawn team has an issue with making certain legends so ridiculously overpowered and not knowing how to balance them in the future updates that they end up completely making that legend worthless. But hey, at least they made the money off the cosmetics before that legend did become worthless. But that leads us into kind of how they're going to be doing stuff in the near future. We know that with this new Uprising Collection event that they added new perk systems like Grenader Vision and Grenader Sling that you can equip to any legend in the game. You can only use it in public matches, you can't use it in rank, but it does make pubs a little bit more interesting. You can have a bit more freedom with the legends that you want to pick. There's even more perks coming into the game. These were just a few of the ones that were initially released, but we do know this is a full system that is being worked on to come into the game. And they have stuff there like Grenader Sling, which is basically Fuse's kit and Medic Inventory, which is very similar to Lifeline. So it seems like what they are trying to do is make every legend viable to be picked because say if you really enjoy playing fuse well you can actually still hop on as mirage and get that grenade perk which then makes it a little bit more enticing to play the next buffs and nerfs that we can actually expect in the game are most likely going to come on january 9th when we get the final fantasy event i'll be interested to see exactly what happens with that buster sword as well i would expect maybe something to conduit to happen as conduit has been complained about being insanely overpowered especially with her tactical and her ultimate and as we all know devs also have a very strong tendency to release legends overpowered like revenant reborn who literally then got nerfed in the same same exact season. They've stated it many times. They like to release a legend very powerful and then nerf them to create some excitement in players to be engaged at the beginning of a season. Comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts? Who needs the most fixing up in Apex Legends? And also, how do you feel about that perk system coming in, replacing some of the legend abilities? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends gameplay along with the finals content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the outlands. See you out there. <laughs>